Hi guys, Alice Taylor here. It's the Open Championship this week. So it might have already gone if you're watching this further down the line. But we're going to talk today about how to hit that high, soft bunker shot. Now, particularly on Lynx courses, you'll see lots of kind of revetted face bunkers. Don't have any of those here at Heron's Reach, but I've come on our 10th hole, greenside bunker. A um, little bit of a slope to the green, probably eight foot tall. Pin nice and tight this side as well, so I'd be disappointed if I've hit it here, because it'd be a poor choice of shot. But I'm going to talk to you about how you would go about playing this type of shot to hit the ball nice and high. So the first thing for me comes down to choice of club. So I've gone for my lob wedge, 60 degrees, and even with 60 degrees, I don't think this has got enough loft to get the ball up. So from there, I would turn the club face so that it's pointing more to the right, and then I would take my grip. <clears throat> now that's gonna promote a lot more loft on there. Then, in theory, the bunker shot, greenside bunker shot's the easiest shot in golf because it's the only shot you don't actually want to hit the ball and we're consciously not looking to hit the ball. So if I were setting up square to this, I would have my ball position slightly forward of center and I would shuffle my feet into the sand, which would lower my center of gravity. My low point of my swing would be behind the ball and that would make me hit the sand an inch to a couple of inches behind. Now, because I'm adding loft to the club, and then gripping it, my club face will now point over to the right. The ball won't set off quite that far to the right, but I would need to move my stance and my body alignment around to the left-hand side. Once I shuffle my feet in, I now know that I'm gonna make that connection with the sand behind the golf ball. But, little challenge here, there's so much loft on this club face now that I'm gonna need a huge amount of energy to get the ball, not just up high enough, but also moving forward. So once I've set up like this, I'm gonna to have to swing pretty quickly. For me personally, I like to have a, a scale of how quickly I'm gonna swing. 10 would be as quick as I could swing. One would be as slow as I could swing. So I'm gonna be up around eight or nine for this one, but I'm gonna shuffle my feet in. Plenty of loft on the club swing on the line that my body has created with lots and lots of speed and in theory this should pop out nice and close. Just like that. So guys, when you've got to get the ball up quickly, don't be afraid of taking loft. It'll take some practice and experiment as to how much loft you can use. You have to be very careful with how deep the sand is that when you open your wedge up that the bounce angle how much lower the back edge is than the front edge doesn't become too great and that will stop you getting the club into the sand but experiment with how much you can open that club face move that alignment off accordingly for me have the ball positioned slightly forward in the stance and then shuffle those feet in so even though the ball's up here we know we're going to bottom out back behind the ball and then once you're there, commit to that speed, nice full swing, and enjoy your results. So guys, as ever, really appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. Hope this one, particularly for anyone playing Lynx Golf with big high lips, becomes beneficial. Like and share the video if you've enjoyed it. Leave any comments below, and we'll try and get back to you. Hopefully catch up with some of you guys down in the future. Stay in contact.